Hi students, I just wanted to talk briefly about how you could contact me in office hours using Skype. Now the first thing to remember is if you decide to use a, a digital platform like Skype or FaceTime or Google Plus, please let me know before office hours that you're going to do that. Otherwise I might forget to turn the software on and then you won't be able to get me and that will be a bummer. <clears throat> so please do send me an email or when you book your office hours appointment you can actually specify which software you're going to use <clears throat> if you're not going to be there in person. Skype is a wonderful choice for many people to contact me in office hours because it's available for just about any computer, Mac, Linux, Windows, it's available on tablet computers, um, it's available on iPad, iPhone, Android phones, etc. So pretty much anywhere where you can get a wireless connection, you can use Skype. You can also use your cellular data connection, but that can get very expensive very fast. Um, it blows through a lot of data, so it's really best if you're on a wireless network, like maybe OSE Wireless when you use it. To get Skype, you want to go to skype.com, S-K-Y-P-E dot com, and I would suggest you cut right to the downloads link. When you go to downloads, it's going to auto um, intuit what system you're on, like it knows that I'm on a Mac, but do notice you can choose from a huge variety of ways to use Skype, and if you scroll down, there's also support for Windows, Windows Desktop, Linux, etc. Once you have the Skype software installed, right, for example, by saying get Skype for Mac and installing a program, um, you can go ahead and open it. Now, yours might look a little bit different if you're on a PC or if you're on a phone, but in general, the way to get to me is to go to the contacts menu and then add a contact. You can search for contacts. So I would recommend that you try my um, username, which is JN4Jenny. You can also try my real name, right, which is Jen Michaels. As you can see, you get this little picture of me. It'll say that I'm in Columbus, Ohio, right, and you'll have the option to request me as a contact. This is a really smart way to contact me on Skype because it'll ensure that I get your request and I can see whether you're online. So, for example, you can see I can tell whether my friend Casey is online. What's up, Erin? I'm recording this in my office, so you might hear Erin behind us because she's awesome. Um, let's see what else you need to know. If you're ever in doubt about whether your Skype is working, you can go ahead and click Skype test call, and I'll actually click it so you can kind of get the feel. This British lady will answer the phone. She's a computer. <laughs> okay, right, so it goes on and on and on, and you can tell it will let you record a message and check your audio settings and all of that business. If it doesn't work, you can check your preferences menu and that will allow you to check your audio video settings. On a Windows machine, this menu might be in something like the Tools menu under Options. So that's just some tips for calling me on Skype during office hours, and uh, I hope that was helpful. See you soon in office hours.